What's up guys? Now today we are starting the show Wolf Pack. I wanted to start the show before, well like on the day it came out, but I couldn't because one, I had to watch Team Wolf the movie, and two, I had to finish another show before I started this one. I finished The Boys the other day, and now I'm finally able to start this show. It doesn't look too bad to be honest, like I think the trailer, it was like pretty good from what I saw. And I'm just like overall hoping that Jeff Davis did better with this show than he did with Teen Wolf the movie. If it turns out to be a disappointment, I'm going to be sad. Because I have high hopes for this show. And I don't know. I don't have like much, so I guess let's just get into the show. Okay, off the bat, starting with the forest fires. I thought maybe it was going to lead up to it. All right, Everett. If your eyes are closed, all you need to do is concentrate on your breath. Who is he listening to? Kill me, and it's, it's actually just evidence of my body working at peak condition, but I'm pretty sure peak condition doesn't feel like there's a giant fucking weight crushing me, so can I please... Just take another out of hand. I'm surprised that they started letting them curse in this show, but it is Paramount Plus. They just weren't able to in Teen Wolf. Even though I know it's completely different, like it's a completely different universe. Connor, hey Connor, why are we stop? Nobody knows. Look at that shit out there. If we have to run, I'm screwed. Imagine being in that situation, like literally having to sit there and watch in traffic, like. How do you even deal with a situation like that if you're like a bus driver or a teacher? And then there's Blake. You don't have a phone? What's the text say? Wait, are you like not allowed to have a phone? No, I just, I choose not to, it's a thing. You wouldn't get it. What's the text say? I wish I could choose not to have a phone, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of addicted to it. I'm not psychotic. You sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I live in Austin. Did you say Eagle Rock? At Water Village, too. But they're doing that to That dude was literally in episode, like, season six, episode one of Teen Wolf. And he just transferred over to this show. Dead body out of here. I am trying to do the right thing. So am I. Which is why I'm posting this so people know who killed a bus full of high school students. Okay then, Blake. That was kind of... Don't tell me something's gonna happen to him while he's out there. What is with them and like deer? Like this kind of shit happened in episode one of Teen Wolf with the damn deer running all over Scott and now they're just running everywhere in front of the buses. But they're also leaving the forest that's on fire. Was that thing just unbothered that it was on fire? God damn! There's something up! Austin! Austin! <sighs> so he only lasted a few seconds, a few minutes of the first episode? The. Oh god, that was really vivid and brutal. And there goes the bus driver. Look at Blake coming in clutch and saving him. She 
was bit. Oh, I already thought she was a a wolf. I'm sorry, but why would you run into the woods when you know that's where the shit is going, like coming from? There you are, I've been trying to reach you. Can't you carry a cell phone like a normal fucking teenager? If you want me to be a normal fucking teenager, why don't you try not using the word fucking when talking to your teenager? That's a lot of fuckings in one sentence. Jacket, wet. Don't worry. I'm okay. So she really walked that far to go home. Does she like not even feel it? Cause that looks like it could hurt. Was the thing on his shoulder a bite too, or was it just like, I don't know, from getting stepped on or hit? <sighs> what did he see? He seemed like he was dead from getting dragged. A wolf. It was a wolf. Straight up a wolf bite, okay. So both of them got bit that day. That literally looked like the freaking beast of Javudan from Teen Wolf. Probably like a bit smaller, but still. Why would they have that in there? Oh, so he was just in his head. That was creepy as fuck. Uh, everybody ran. There was one, Blake. He a friend of yours? She. And no, not not really. I mean, most of my friends are online. I feel that. But still, how are you like, why are you talking about Blake? Y'all just met. Who is this? Leave the hospital now. Grab your things and go. What? Why? What if it's the person who bit him? It's going to find you. It's going to keep coming, Everett. Oh, so it's not the person that bit him. It has to find you before the next full moon. What does it want? To kill you. Before the full moon. For what though? That would be like, that would be like his, his beta, whatever, whatever they have. I fucked a guy there one night. I do not do this in front of Danny. Option B. Oh God. When you and mom were fighting for six hours and didn't even notice we were gone. And still didn't notice after she left and you got drunk. Uh, so that's probably the option. She seems like she needs to go to the hospital too. What the fuck? So they're like, you know kill each other when they turn? It's not a minor scratch. Nothing's minor with you. Did they even show you? Did you look at it? Here, look. It's gonna be gone. Oh, for God's sake, Everett. That's not even gonna scar. It's gone. 
Wait, there's a girl. She got bit too. The same thing's probably happening to her. What girl? You met a girl? No, I mean, like, I know her. We have a couple classes together. Her name's Blake. We should find her. How would you find Blake? You're in the hospital, hooked to IVs, and she don't have a phone. Stop it. Skin. Use complete sentences. Have we talked about? I can't respond unless you help me understand. She no longer has, like, the dots and stuff on her face. Danny, stop. Your skin. He's the one that's making her, like, recognize shit, so... Go Danny. Yeah, what's happening with her bite? That don't look too good. But I mean, kind of look... Everett's looks better than that. How is that even possible? You can't see where people are. They could see each other. At a party in the middle of a forest fire. Okay then. Oh, he's gonna go to you. I just know what I like. How old are you anyway? Don't worry. I'm not like high school or anything. <laughs> he's gonna absolutely trick him. If she finds him, like, quick as fuck, that'll be weird. I literally thought his sister was just about to, like, walk up on him in the middle of that. Sometime tomorrow, he's gonna come stumbling through the front door covered in ash and fall asleep on the couch, and then he's gonna wake up coughing like he's got pneumonia and go and do it again. Oh, their dad is the park ranger, dude. So that means he's the werewolf, too. But not a real one. Or not. Oh, wait, so they're adopted. So maybe he's not a werewolf. They found his truck. But not him. So the dad's missing. Sarah Michelle Geller. I have not seen Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but I know who she is. We're part of a joint task force investigating the wildfires. We're looking for anyone who came in recently that was injured on the freeway this morning, especially the kids who were on that school bus. Everett. Okay, so they're gonna look into that. You know what that means, right? Arson. How do people people just like easily get out of a hospital that is like full of people? Middleton Road. That is not a thing. Who the hell has something like that? Just the name and address? That's not like a fucking phone book. Mm. 
that was some, something completely way different than I expected with super speed or whatever. What? Dog's no longer barking anymore. All this time we could have been friends, huh? The fact that she's wandering, like, literally everywhere, like, I thought she was so far away from her house, and yet she basically just ran back. Remember, it probably looks worse than it is. These animals were scared and desperate. Most of them were on fire when they came out of the woods. What kind of animals? Maybe the wolf thing took him, and then maybe he's now going to be turning into a wolf. So maybe it wasn't a wolf. It's gonna be Everett. What the fuck are you doing here? That's what I said, it was him. There are fires every year. Not like this one. You heard what they said on the news. This is the worst fire in 18 years. Just like the one when Garrett found us. Oh. Oh, so that kind of makes sense as to why the other two were bit. Because if that same thing happened to them like the 18 years ago or whatever. He did that. He's coming for both of us. So you think it's your father? Why would he take this long to come back, though? How come you didn't go to the hospital? How come you didn't stay? Someone called me and told me to leave. He said it was gonna try and kill me again. And I had to do it before the next full moon. That kind of makes no sense. It's like, why bite you in the first place? Was the bite like in hopes that you die? Everyone who looks at it says it's healing and it probably won't even scar. That's not what you see, is it? So how can they only see it? Can you see my abs? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Your skin. Look at your skin. He noticed. Okay, then that did not look like the beast. That looks like an actual big ass wolf. Now you got super strength. She got speed, you got strength. At least he's actually like still alive, you know? Like I thought he might've, could have been dead, but he's just in the fire. I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of here. And if I don't, I want to make sure there's a message. You know I love you. Even though you were only 10, and I was the one who ended up having nightmares. Remember that I love you. Tyler kind of seems, not Tyler, I mean Harlan. Harlan kind of seems like he's more like Blake, like they're both kind of like standoffish, and then Luna and Everett seem more alike. <laughs> it 
If he doesn't make it out of that, I'd be really disappointed because he actually seems like a good person. Or panic attacks or whatever the fuck this is, okay? I'm just, I'm freaking out. You know, sometimes people freak out. Hey, they also have anxiety attacks. Look, <sighs> try and breathe into seven and then out to 11. <laughs> I'm sorry, she kind of cracks me up. I'll do it with you. Look at me, Blake. Eyes wide, tongue out. One, two. Ah! At least she's actually trying it. I should probably teach my brother how to do that. <laughs> if you have a first kiss this episode, we're gonna have problems. Okay. I hate whenever they fast pace shit. I know what it was. You do too. I don't. You do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. She just doesn't want to admit it. But it's also like, how would it know to go to her house? You know? But I would like you to listen for a moment. I know you're shaken up by what happened today. You went through something pretty terrifying. I'm hoping she turns out to be like an actual good character. If she turns into a villain somehow, I'd be so mad. Arsonist is a teenager. Might even be someone you go to school with. In fact, it's quite possible this teenager Ooh. was on that bus with you. Okay, either, yeah, either, I don't remember his name, but he was in the first episode of season six of Teen Wolf, or, or maybe it was Connor that had the crutches. I don't know how it could be him, but I'm suspecting him. They were, those were like the only two they talked to though. Well, there was the blondie too. That's kind of weird. So their eyes roll to the back of their head? Okay then. They're the twins from school, Harlan and Luna. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Damn, their eyes just automatically turned. What never happens? Any of this. But it's happening now. What? What's happening? It's like the rules have changed or something. Something bit you. Don't say it. You're like us now. Don't. Just like us. Don't tell me this is how the episode's gonna end. Okay then. I swear. This first episode, it kind of confused me a bit. But then it's like I'm also comparing it to Teen Wolf and I just can't stop myself. Cause it's like so, so much shit is different, but it's also a different universe. Just also about werewolves. It's just like, some of the stuff kind of doesn't make sense but then i'm kind of like just wondering so harlan and luna they were born wolves or bitten whenever they were younger i think they said that they were born because luna was talking about their father earlier and harlan didn't even want to talk about him i don't know there's so much to question and it's like i'm really hoping that they're like adoptive dad or whatever that dude i hope he makes it out of the damn woods if he dies i'd feel so bad because then that would mean that they're really alone and then the only other parent well yeah the only other parents in the show would be what's it called everett's parents and then blake's dad i already don't like blake's dad yeah he's having a hard time right now but that doesn't make up for the shit before it 
And then Everett's parents, they, I don't even know how to describe how they seem. I just already don't like them. I like the dad, but the mom is just too, she can go. She, she seems like she, I don't know, just pushes off whatever Everett's trying to like say and like worry about as if it's like not a real thing. And I don't like that. Like, you can't listen to something that your kid has to say. I don't know. But this episode did kind, did feel kind of like slow. And it just like, I don't know. It was hard to get into at first, but it wasn't too bad. Hopefully episode two will be like better and like faster. I don't know. I really fuck with Blake. She's funny as fuck. But then I also like Luna and I like them all. I'm just trying to pick a favorite already. And I don't know who my favorite would be right now. So I have to wait and see more until I can do that. But I don't know. I need to see how this all like plays out. So I guess come back for episode two.